let's add these really cool tooltips to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding tooltips to not only items, but also to blocks. But first of all, let's start with the items because that is a little bit easier. So we will need a custom item class for this. So we're going to be using the dowsing rod item class. And it is as easy once again as just overriding one method. And that is the append hover text method. So you can see as a parameter, we're getting a list of components. And that is exactly the list of our tooltips. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to make it so that if you hover over the item, then you will see press shift for more information. And then when you hold shift down, then more information appears. That's something that you might have seen in other mods. They basically also do this. And the way to do this is we're going to make an if statement. And we're going to say if screen dot has shift down. And then we'll also add an else statement right here. What happens if we press shift down? Well, we're going to say p tooltip components dot add with a new translatable component. And then I'm going to put in tooltip dot tutorial mod dot dousing underscore rod dot tooltip dot shift. Now, this is quite a mouthful, but this is going to be the translation key that we're going to add to our Ian underscore US JSON file in just a moment. I highly recommend using the translatable component for this, just like we've done with the message right here. It just makes a lot of sense and it takes like a minute or two longer rather than just using the text component, but it makes it way easier to translate down the line. Now we're just gonna copy this. So I've just selected everything, control C and then control V to paste it in. And then here, if we're not pressing down shift, we're just having the normal one displayed. So I'm going to just copy over the entire string, including the quotation marks. And then we're just gonna go into the en underscore us JSON file and below the dousing rod, no valuables. It's gonna add this, and this is gonna say, right click to find valuables. Remember this is the thing that is going to be displayed when we are pressing shift down. And then the one with this is the one that is going to be displayed when we're not pressing shift down. So here we're going to say press and then the paragraph symbol E shift paragraph symbol R and explain what that is in just a moment in formation. There you go. So what is this? Well, those are the Minecraft formatting codes. So starting with this, is going to make everything that is right of it in sort of a yellow color. And then as soon as it reaches the paragraph R, we're basically stopping with the formatting. I will link a great resource in the description below for some of the formatting codes. It is, well, very useful. Basically, you can use all of them. And usually this should work. So everywhere where you are displaying something in the inventory or in the chat, usually those formatting codes should work. Right, and now this is all fine and well, but how about the blocks? Because sometimes some people have said, well, I really want a block to also have a tooltip. And that is seems to be a, lo a lot harder than, you know, the other way around. And it's like, yes, items are far easier than blocks. For the blocks, we basically, because we're creating the block item right here, we have to well duplicate both of these methods. So I'm going to copy both of those methods and paste them back in. Now we're going to get a lot of errors. Don't worry at all. We're going to be fixing those. So what we're going to do is, first of all, in the register block item method, we're just going to add a new parameter called string. And this is going to be the tooltip key. And we're going to do the same thing for the register block method, string tooltip key. And then let's just reformat this a little bit. There you go. And then here, we're basically going to pass in the tooltip key to the register block item method. And then here, just like we've actually seen before, where we were thinking about, well, we could create an anonymous class. It's exactly what we're going to do here as well. So we're going to make an anonymous class out of this block item. And here, we're going to overwrite the append hover text method. And we're just going to say ptooltip.add and then a new translatable component. We're going to pass in the tooltip key right here, and that is going to be it. So we have basically overloaded the register block and the register block item method. If you don't quite know what that means, then I highly suggest checking out a little bit more Java. So that definitely tends to be a little bit of a gap, let's say, in the Java knowledge, because overriding or rather overloading methods is something that's fairly common. You know, it's just a different signature for the method, but it has the same name, then it basically figures everything else out on its own. So for example, for the speedy block here, what I can now do is I can just add a new well parameter here. So for example, I could say something like tooltip.block.speedyblock.speedyblock. 
And let's actually also add our tutorial mod, tutorial mod, mod ID, there you go. Just making sure, and then we can basically copy this over, and then I can translate this as well. So let's just add this as well, and we can just say it, uh, or let's say I am speed. Why not? That's kind of fun. So if I hover over the speedy block, what I'm, well, what we're thinking about seeing should be the I am speed when we hover over this, and I'm fairly confident that this is going to work because this is just uh, basically a normal thing here. And yeah, that's actually how it is to add them to the block. So you can't add them, you cannot add them to custom block classes because we're not making a custom block class here. We're making a custom or, a, or an anonymous block item class. Okay, that's very important. The block item is an item. The block is still a block. So it doesn't work right here. It has to be right here. So this is basically the only way to really do this. But any modifications going forward should be fairly trivial with some Java knowledge basically under the hood you should be totally fine. But those are actually all of the well, things that we need to change. So I guess let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's see if I hover over the dowsing rod, you can see press shift for more information. And when I hold shift, then the right click to find valuables is being displayed. So everything working exactly how you would expect it to. Absolutely amazing. Right, all of the code is of course available to you once again in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gists as well. But this would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah, 